Hey, Cross Park family. Been a busy week? Yeah, me too. Lots going on. Uh, so I don't want to take a ton of your time, but want to make you aware, hopefully just remind you of a number of things. The first is Sunday morning, we transition to our fall schedule. So that means Sunday school starting at 930 and then worship at 1030. Sunday schools for all ages. So we've got Sunday school classes for the little kids, for the youth group, and then we also have Sunday school for the adults. So we'd love for you to arrive. Oh, and we have nursery during that time too. So we'd love for you to arrive on Hemby's campus about 920 because it's going to take time to get situated and just get back into the rhythm of Sunday school. So don't leave your house at 928. You're going to be late. So leave a little bit early. Uh, get to campus by 920. Uh, get the chairs laid down in the sanctuary. And then we can all find our way to our various Sunday school rooms. Uh, by 9.30 so we can get started. Uh, kids are in their various classes. Youth will be back in Magnolia, and the adults will be located down in Sycamore, that cabin down a kind, kind of below and to the right of the sanctuary. Um, so that's 9.30, and then we have worship at 10.30. Uh, the, the only note about, uh, two notes actually, about worship, we're going to be looking at Psalm 148 as we begin just a three-week little mini-series on our vision statement. And we're actually kind of overlapping series. So we're going to finish our psalm series uh, with 148, 149, and 150 over the next three Sundays. But also we're going to have with that our vision statement, Him We Proclaim. And in the Lord's providence, it, these three psalms line up very nicely with those three key words. So this Sunday, Psalm 148. Uh, be great for you to give that a read and some prayer ahead of time. We're going to be considering the, the broad topic of Him. Who is this God that we proclaim together? What's he like? What's he all about? Who is he? Uh, so we're going to be looking at him this weekend with Psalm 148. The other thing with worship, just to mention for you, we'll have communion is the plan during worship. So we'd love for you to have that on your mind and heart as you prepare for worship on Sunday. So the big thing with this, uh, with this Sunday, we're transitioning to our fall schedule, 930 for Sunday school, 1030 for worship. As we transition to our fall schedule, that also means a number of other ministries are kicking off this coming week. So both 345 Club and the youth group are meeting this, this Wednesday, September 4th at 6.30, 6.30 to 8 at Hemby. So that's this Sunday, both, or this Wednesday, both 345 Club and the youth group meeting at Hemby. A number of life groups are beginning in, in the next week or two as well. Men's group, my group is going to start meeting in the next uh, this next Thursday. A number of guys' groups are getting together as well. Women's Bible studies are kicking off. So all those, all those aspects, life groups, of uh, all those different kinds of ministries, we want you to be able to plug in where you need to plug in. And so in the emails that come out, keep, a, keep an eye out for interest forms or ways that you can connect with various ministries. We want you to have the, uh, the resources you need and your family needs so that you can thrive in the gospel. That's what we want. We want to proclaim Christ so that the people of South Charlotte, Cross Park, and the world thrive in the gospel. And the programming that we provide, the worship services, the Sunday schools, the life groups, the men's groups, women's groups, youth groups, all these different things that we do, are all to foster our mutual thriving together in the gospel. We don't want you to miss out on that. So take advantage of the interest forms and various links and emails. Uh, connect with people uh, because we want you to have what you need to grow and thrive in the gospel. Last thing I'd mention is the church survey. We talked about this on Sunday, and I got all combobulated, discombobulated. It would have been nice if I could have been combobulated, but I got discombobulated on Sunday. Thinking about surveys and QR codes and... Um, so check your emails. It, Aaron will help us stay very well organized. Uh, there will be uh, links to interest forms for various ministries and a separate link to a survey that the leadership of the church is very interested in you filling out. Uh, it's 15, 16 questions. It won't take you a ton of time, but it's going to be really valuable for us as we enter into a season of some long-term strategic planning. We want to know about you we want to know about your interests, your uh, things, ways you got connected to Cross Park, areas where you feel like Cross Park can grow and improve. We want to hear from you. So please do take the, the 
few moments it'll take to fill out that survey. We'd be interested to have one from each adult would be great. So follow the links in the emails uh, and, uh, and that'll help us a whole lot. Again, I wind up being a little bit discombobulated, but so it goes. Uh, appreciate your patience over this video. Appreciate your patience with me in the pulpit over the course of the summer. You've been very encouraging. I'm so grateful to be a part of Cross Park Church. And this Sunday, Lord willing, is the last Sunday that our pastor and his family will be at, the pastor will be out of the pulpit. Um, we look forward to his return on September 8th. So continue to pray for the Hardys as they transition back into uh, not only Charlotte, but back into life at Cross Park over the coming weeks. So, so grateful for you as a church family. Love being a part of this, uh, of this congregation. Grateful for your ministry to me and my family and thankful to be able to minister among you. So Cross Park, we love you. Look forward to seeing you Sunday morning, Sunday school at 930, worship at 1030. Until then, or until we see each other again, grace and peace, Cross Park.